Hello everyone, I'm just making sure I'm in the right group here. Um, I just had to go check on my kids really quick, make sure they're all in bed, being quiet, no promises that there are not gonna be any disruptions tonight, but you know, there you go. We are in the right group. That is just part of having kids. Um, I'm gonna give everyone just kind of a, a, a minute or so just to get on, so I'm just gonna kind of chat for a little bit. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I'm really excited about this class. I need to put my notes up here too. Um, this is cool. I'm, oh man. Okay, there we go. All right. So I'm just going to start. If you, um, join in, will you just say hello? How are you? Or hey, what's up? Or something just so I know that you're here. Um, I can't, I don't know if I'm going to be able to see, we'll see when people come on, if I can see who's on. So, um, who am I? I'm Olivia Martin. I am a homeschooling mom of five children, and my husband, David, and I have been married for 15 years. We are from Illinois and moved out to Minnesota a couple years ago almost, um, as he is a pastor. And we are, um, we are, um, sorry, I got distracted by message. So yeah, we are in Minnesota, loving it. Um, super excited to be here. So why are we here tonight? Well, I want to tell you guys and show you guys um, that, um, um, sorry, why are we here? We are here to discuss wellness. We are here to discuss eating healthy. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about essential oils. We're going to talk a little bit about some other tips to do this time of year when sickness, when viruses, when flus are just crazy right now. We're going to talk about different ways to help build your immune system, to keep you healthy, um, to help fight off these um, viruses and stuff that are going to be heading our way sooner, if not already. So this is a journey I have been on um, with essential oils. I've been on it for about five years. Healthy eating, it's been a little less, maybe about a year, and I keep learning more and more. So I'm just telling you guys what I've been learning, okay? This is um, a journey I've been on. I hope you guys will come on with me if you haven't already. So remember, also, I am not a doctor. I do not hold a PhD in anything except for, no, I don't, <laughs> just kidding. Um, I'm not a doctor. These are my own opinions. These are not intended to treat, diagnose, or cure. I have to throw that out there because I just don't want anyone thinking otherwise. These are just my opinions. So I also want to um, let you guys know to go ahead and comment as much as you can, even throughout the week. Um, I'll explain, I'm gonna be posting things throughout the week too. Comment on everything. At the end of this week, I'm gonna be doing a drawing for a five milliliter bottle of our thieves essential oil, which is one of my favorite oils. So comment, comment, comment. Yay. Um, all right, let's get started. And also if you hang out with me through this whole video at the end, I have a special deal for you. Um, on top of the already awesome deal too, for, um, getting some oils. So let's get started. I asked my nutritional therapist, Cheryl, to, um, Give me some quotes from her about why you should eat healthy, why food matters, okay? So this is some of the things that she sent me. I'm just gonna give them to you. I'm also, will post them in the group so you can go back and read them, reread them, whatever you need to do. So I'm also gonna tag her Facebook page too. So Cheryl, my nutritional therapist says, um, she first quoted Hippocrates, Hippocrates who says, let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. Let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. So this is a quote from her. I like to say whole foods and good supplements are your body's replacement parts we need in order to heal. For example, the foods with sugar and trans fats like donuts will suppress your immune system. But a whole food God intended us to eat like homemade chicken soup with veggies is healing to our bodies and has the proteins that provide the am amino acids which are the building blocks of the immune system and minerals, vitamins, and fats our bodies needs to heal. We can actually crave sugar when we are sick because our, our body is so deprived of vitamins, minerals, and healthy fats and proteins. Um, fats create the cell walls that, that we need healthy, so we need healthy fats to make them strong and heal. 
preferably organic butter, coconut oil, olive oil, avocado, and wild caught salmon. Those are just some examples of some good oils. Um, also something that um, Hippocrates has said is all disease begins in the gut. This is because the walls of the small intestines are 70% of the cells that make up your immune system. These are lymphatic cells. Too much dairy, sugar, processed food, which has trans fats and fake ingredients can interfere with these cells and the digestive process, inflaming the gut and causing weakness in our immune system. So again, good soups and good soup broths help heal the gut and bone broth is the most beneficial. I will actually be linking, um, hey Sarah, how are you doing girl? I'll be linking um, some recipes for bone broth. I do make bone broth a lot. So um, I'll link some of those throughout the week too. So some foods that are really good to eat this time of year are, um, the first one is spinach. You know, that gross green stuff, spinach. Just kidding, I actually like spinach. But spinach is rich in vitamin C and it, um, it's great to put on salads, on sandwiches and casseroles or hot dishes as they say in Minnesota. Sorry, I'm Illinois girl. Um, so there's some good ideas for that. Also, um, hold on a second. Go to bed, please. Okay. Okay, hold on a second, guys. What, honey? Okay. Okay, go to bed, please. Thank you. Go to bed. So, um, <laughs> I told you I promise no interruptions tonight. I'm kind of on my own tonight. So, kids, please go to bed right now. Hey, come here. We'll do that tomorrow, okay? You need to obey. Thank you. All right. So, next <laughs> is um, citrus fruit. Citrus fruit is rich in vitamin C. It's also thought to increase the production of white blood cells. A good examples are grapefruit, oranges, tangerines, lemons, things like that. The next one is red bell peppers. Did you actually know that red bell peppers have twice as much vitamin C as citrus fruits do? Amazing, right? Um, funny story about the red bell peppers too. My, my kids, um, we had cut up some apples a couple weeks ago and my husband was a little under the weather so he cut up some bell peppers to help build up his immune system and i go in to look and um so the kids ate all the bell peppers and like half the apples were still on the plate it was crazy they totally destroyed those bell peppers so another good food to eat this time of year is broccoli it's packed with vitamin a c and e it also has antioxidants and is a good source of fiber, which helps your digestive system. Garlic also is another thing that is good to eat this time of year. It's known for fighting infections, for lowering, lowering blood pressure. Um, I know it doesn't help your breath smell good, so you might not wanna like go kissing anyone after eating it, I don't know. But also, um, I did hear too that you're supposed to eat it raw. I haven't checked into that 100%, but um, I did hear that so and also some um, other good foods that Cheryl my nutritional therapist um, threw out to eat too some things that are good for vitamin C zinc and minerals are lemons oranges grapefruit grapes apple broccoli cabbage kiwi papaya cherries and berries and buckwheat so those are good for vitamin C for zinc and minerals for vitamin A which supports the eyes lungs, skin, and liver are sweet potatoes, carrots, pumpkin, orange colored squash, green leafy veggies. Please go to bed. Ow! Sorry. Honey, you need to go to bed. Go with Davy, please. Sorry, guys. You know, I sat here for 20 minutes kind of going over everything and no interruptions. And then the second I start the video, there's interruptions. Um... And now there's cats even attacking my feet. <laughs> Isn't that how this is? Oh my goodness. Okay, so for vitamin A, we already talked about sweet potatoes, carrots, pumpkin, orange colored squash, green leafy veg veggies, and cod liver. To get some whole food vitamin D, um, cod liver oil, um, mackerel, herring, salmon, sardines, tuna, egg yolk, liver, mushrooms, and sunshine helps your body make vitamin D naturally. 
The other thing with vitamin C, um, your body doesn't naturally make that. So you have to be continually putting that into your body through good foods. Um, also probiotic foods that are good for you to, that help restore the good bacteria in your intestines so that your body has a good di defense system. Um, sauerkraut, kefir, kimchi, I think I'm saying that right, and other cultured veggies. Yogurt is good too, but just make sure you get the yogurt that is really low on sugar. Um, don't get the already flavored yogurt, get, get plain yogurt, um, Greek yogurt might even, you have to look at the sugar because obviously, like I said earlier, sugar weakens your immune system because your body has such a hard time digesting the sugar. So these are just a few. I talked about the chicken vegetable soup, which helps um, protein provides to help build up the immune system too. Um, Georgie, you need to go to sleep, please. Sorry guys, once again. Um, this is just how it is. So during the week, I'm going to be posting some immune boosting recipes for you to try check them out and also these are going to be easy recipes because like i said earlier i have five children i homeschool i have other activities going on so i want to make sure that the recipes i have are healthy but are also easy okay also another tip 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 wash your hands don't forget to wash your hands especially before eating meals um, to cut back on the spreading of germs and now kids make sure when you wash your hands you sing the abcs or happy birthday I think we do happy birthday. Um, you know, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. You don't want me to sing. But um, do it twice, two times, because that's a good 30, 30 to 45 seconds. Um, you guys should really watch Sid the Science Kids episode on washing hands. It's very interesting. Like I said, five children. <laughs> so what else can help? Exercise. Yep, that workout thing, even though it makes you sweaty, it can help boost your immune system. My good sister-in-law, actually all my sister-in-laws are good, but Brie Martin gave me a quote. You can find her information at www.refreshfitnessqc.com. But this is what she says. When exercising, body temps rise and antibodies change to get ready to fight off infection. Physical activity can reduce bacteria growth and flush bacteria out of lungs and airways. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services recommends to get at least 150 minutes per week of moderate intensity aerobic exercise or 75 minutes per week of vigorous exercise. So there you go. You're supposed to be working out of 150 minutes per week. I'm not sure how that breaks down into minutes, but... I will also say any amount of exercise is good, okay? Um, I, I, that's my own opinion. Brie might disagree with me on that. I don't know if she's on here and can disagree, but any type of movement is gonna, is gonna help, okay? So just get out, move around, you know, even if it's five minutes a day, um, or going on, go on YouTube. They have tons and tons and tons of, um, um, workout videos on YouTube. Oh my goodness. Like workouts for moms, workouts for dads, workouts for kids, workouts for grandmas, workouts for whoever, lazy people. I don't know. They probably do. <laughs> so basically exercise is also a way to um, improve your overall health. Okay. It helps build your, uh, boost your immune system, which is obviously the body's defense against infections. Um, I'm not sure if anyone is commenting. So, um, I'm gonna really quick click over here because I can't see anything. Um, I don't see any comments, so that's good. All right, if you guys honestly comment, if you guys have any questions or any input, um, different ways that you know of ways to stay healthy, comment, comment in, let me know, let me see. There's so many different things we can do. All right, back to my notes. So. Um, the next thing I'm going to really try to keep this short. I was going to try to keep it under a half hour. I'm doing good. Good on time. I like to talk. So, you know, and when you're home with five kids all day, any type of talking to adults is great, right? So my next thing that I want to talk to you guys about are, um, essential oils. So 
Tonight, when I'm talking about essential oils, I am talking about Young Living essential oils, just so you guys know. Um, I've done research. I will explain a little bit of my research later of what why I chose Young Living. Um, but let's go into actually what are essential oils. So they are the natural aromat aromatic liquid found in plants, trees, shrubs, leaves, etc. They are basically your the um, plant's immune system, okay? So they're natural, right? Um, they don't have side effects. They are just, you know, it's basically taking the plant and breaking them down to the oil form, okay? There's, it's a lot more, um, <laughs> there's a lot more in the process than just that, but that's just a little part of it. So different ways to use essential oils. You can inhale them. I have um, my Thieves bottle here. So you can just inhale them. Oh, I love these. Oh my goodness. I'll talk about this one later too. You can di diffuse them, which actually that blue thing right there, there, right there is my diffuser. I have that going um, almost 24 seven with different oils, but this time of year, it's a lot of this oil and I'll explain why later. You can use them topically. So I put them a lot on our necks, our, my wrists. Um, one of my favorite oils is Stress Away. It smells so good and I will put that on my wrist and use it as perfume instead of actually nasty chemical smelling perfume. Um, and feet, feet are great to put oils on because you have so many pores on your feet and it's, um, it's just a great way to quickly get them into your system. The other way is to ingest them and remember I am talking about Young Living tonight. Um, I know some companies say not to, but Young Living actually has a vitality line, it's called, that can be digested. So anytime I talk about digesting oils, it's through Young Living's vitality line, okay? So why did I choose Young Living? Oh, let me count the ways. Um, first of all, their seed to seal guarantee is a big thing to me. Young Living does own some of their farms. They can um, keep track of what's going in their farms. Um, I would really say they are beyond organic, but they don't pay for the label, labeling basically, but that's my own, you know. Um, and also one thing, I, when I was doing some research on some other companies versus Young Living, I came to realize that, like I was, one other company said that they cannot guarantee their farms are organic because um, they don't run their farms, they don't, they're, they're not, um, involved in so much the farming, so they can't claim that. Now, to me, um, if I want to use oils, I want them to be organic, right? You don't want pesticides and all these gross things in your oils if you're using them to help, right? Because you don't want those nasty chemicals. One thing about Young Living is I was reading some research on them and they actually um, use people to weed, okay? They don't, they don't use chemicals, they use people. And I, I love that because one, it provides jobs, right? And two, it um, is healthier, right? So there's that. Um, so they also have 25 years experience. They're the largest oil selection that I've, no, I've seen and they just work. So if I use these as you know natural ways, once again, I want, I want them to be organic. So I'm gonna talk about a few of the oils. Um, these oils are the oils that are in the starter kit. Hold on a second, I gotta get something to drink. Oh, I'm gonna dry my mouth. Okay, so I have my fire going in the background. I know you can't really see it, but it's kind of getting dry in here now. So the oils I am gonna talk about are the oils that come in a Young Living starter kit. And I'll talk about more about what comes in the starter kit later too. But um, I want these just to, these are the oils in your starter kit that really help to promote your immune system. Um, and that's why I wanted to go over them. So first one, like I said, is Thieves. Um, this is the bottle of Thieves. Hi, Cheryl, it is so cozy. It's cozy here because this is probably the cleanest part of my house right now too. <laughs> and both of my kitties are laying down with me. So um, this is my favorite part of my house. So. Anyway, so we're going to go back to Thieves. This is Cheryl, who I was talking about earlier, who I quoted earlier. Cheryl Spitzer, she's awesome. I call her my voodoo doctor. <laughs> I hope that's not offensive. Um, anyway, so Thieves is my favorite oil. Oh, be still my heart. This is my favorite oil. My 
favorite, favorite oil. It is great to diffuse in the fall and Christmas because it smells amazing. And there's Brie, the other person I just quoted. Hi, Brie. Um, so Thieves is, it has um, clove and cinnamon, eucalyptus, rosemary. I might be missing some. I can't read it. It's such small print right now, but this smells great. It's very Christmassy, I think. Um, I love to I love to diffuse it this time of the year, but not only because it smells good, but because it is great for infections. It's great for cold flu to fight off, to for cold sores, headaches, congestion. It kills airborne bacteria, which is why I diffuse it all the time. Um, so I I really diffuse it a lot when the kids are sick, or David or I are sick, or we've been, we're having people over, or we've been around a lot of people. Um, I also will add a drop of the Thieves Vitality to a cup of hot tea, um, which is really good too. You can also take a teaspoon of honey with a drop of Thieves if you have a sore throat, things like that. So that's one of my favorite, favorite oils. I think if I had to choose between the oils, that'd probably be the one I would take with me if I was stranded on an island. <laughs> you know, you get all those questions. What would you take with you? That's the one I would take with me. So the next one is lemon. My husband makes fun of me because I say le lemon instead of lemon. Lemon, L-I-M-O-N, isn't that how it's spelled? Just kidding. Um, so lemon helps aid, it aids your digestion. It boosts your immune system. It detoxes your system, promotes overall health. You can add a couple drops to a glass of water in the morning to help jumpstart your day. Um, when using any of the Vitality oils in liquids make sure you're using a glass or stainless steel cup do not use plastic because the oil obviously can break away at the plastic so don't ever use plastic okay now the next oil is frankincense it um boosts your immunity it helps you focus it is emotional balancing it's, it has comforting properties now you can understand a little bit more why the wise men brought it to mary after she had jesus right <laughs> I always wonder what is what is frankincense like what's the point now it actually is also good um for stretch marks i've heard for any type of beauty like facial wash like a, um young living has a um, facial cleansing um line and it has frankincense in it so it's um it's an amazing it's amazing it, it smells good it's great so um now you know why mary probably was very happy to get that the next one is Dijai's. Mm, Dijai is the worst um, smelling oil ever. Okay, maybe a little exaggeration, but it really smells not very good. It has ginger in it, but this oil is amazing. Um, sorry, when the kids go to bed, please. This oil is amazing. It's great for health, your um, gut, for healthy gut. It is great for nausea, for stomach cramps, for overall di digestion. I use it a lot during that time of month, ladies. Um, my husband uses a lot for his bloating issues he has. Um, go tell David, I think he's in my room. Sorry, guys. Um, their movie isn't working. So... Where was I, Dijai's? So yeah, Dijai's is just a really good oil to have around, um, especially if you're eating a lot of greasy foods, it helps calm down your tummy. So the next one is Raven. Now this one, I have not had a whole lot of experience with. Um, the, this is kind of newer to the starter kit. So the kit I used to, or I got when I first started had RC, and that's the one I use a lot. It's very similar. They're both good for cold and flu, for congestion, allergies, pneumonia, bronchitis, sore throats, overall any type of respiratory um, things going on. My son, who has allergies and allergy-induced asthma, I, I use this on him like a lot. My niece uses it, my sister-in-law uses it for my niece, um, for her allergies. And I honestly will say that for us, um, we have actually cut down on giving him over-the-counter meds he doesn't get on, take them as much as he used to um so that that's been really awesome so the next oil is the citrus fresh it's great for eternal boost with antioxidants and cleansing properties so um those are just a few of the oils that come in a starter kit that are great for your immune system i'm gonna be over the course of this week as well as recipes for um food for different meals i'm gonna be throwing out some 
um, blends and things to use for um, with essential oils too. So I'm super excited about that. All right, so that is the basics of my class. Um, just very short, very quick information out there, um, but enough to get us started, right? To get us started on this um, journey that we're taking into being healthy, right? So thank you so much for joining me tonight. I hope you learned a lot. I hope you had a good time. Um, remember to comment some other ways that you use um, to stay healthy this time of year. And um, I hope you learned a lot about essential oils too. They are amazing to make your house smell good, if not anything else, right? Uh, I have cut back. I don't. I used to love lighting candles, but as you know, if you do any research, candles have a lot of bad chemicals in them. So I actually use a diffuser. I even have. Um, I even sometimes will make my own candles with essential oils. And I love that. And actually, I think I'm thinking about doing a class in November on different things you can do it yourself type essential oil projects. Great for Christmas gifts, things like that. So I hope you guys will join me for that. I will be um, setting that up probably the first week of November. Um, we'll probably do it the second week of November or something. So that will be really fun. Um, so also, if you are interested in learning more about the Young Living Oils. I have an awesome Facebook group that I would love to add you to if you're really interested, um, if you're even thinking about getting a starter kit. This group is great. It has um, so much information. There are constantly people talking in there. Um, hey, Sam, we'll talk about this later. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm telling you, I sat here from 8 to 8.30 and no kid interrupted me. And I sit here from 8.30 to 9 and I've had 30 interruptions. <laughs> I love it. Wouldn't change it for the world though. This is life. Take it or leave it, but this is my life right now. So, um, where was I? Okay, so Facebook group. But if you're really, 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 really interested and would like to know more about the starter kit, um, hang with me for a couple minutes for another minute or so. Um, and I have some awesome deals for you to check out. So thank you for those of you who have finished with me. Um, the special offers I do have going on. I have one and then Young Living actually has one right now. So my special offer is that if you order a starter kit in the next 24 hours, I'm also going to mail you this holiday spice room spray. It has, um, cinnamon, orange and clove in it so it's great smelling it um was supposed to be more of a pumpkin spice but i think it smells more like christmasy holiday so i changed the name of it it's my own recipe now <laughs> so i'm gonna send you this bottle um and then the young living right now is offering free shipping for your starter kit and i would love to explain ways of how to get even more i think right now um with a certain amount of spending each month, you could also get a free bottle of nutmeg. So that would be awesome. I'd love to tell you guys more about that. So in your starter kit, you actually will get 12 oils. Um, I think I talked about six of them above um, or earlier. And so um, there's six more that you get. Um, I can't remember them right now. My mind just went blank. But anyway, you also get a diffuser that comes with your kit. Um, some Thieves Cleaner samples, which I love my Thieves Cleaner. Um, you also get the Thieves Hand Purifier, um, which is basically like your sanitizer. And a sample of the Ninja Red Drink, which is kind of a, a really good, um, it has a lot of vegetables, a lot of things in it, so it's a good drink. So it's a really amazing deal. Um, I think... The um, kit starts at 160, 165, but you're getting like $400 worth of stuff, right? Um, don't quote me on that, but I think that's kind of how it balances out in the end. Um, so if you are interested in getting a starter kit, PM me and I would love to sign you up. If you're interested in joining the group that we have to learn more, um, click or comment add me and I will add you to the group. So once again, I just thank you for joining me. Um, if you would like to know when the deals are happening or when more deals happen, let me know and I can let you, I can get, keep you informed. Um, 
but this is a great time to start using essential oils if you have it because they're such great deals. Um, they are great for your body and do not have the nasty side effects. They um, are good for just diffusing to make your house smell good, to get rid of those nasty smells. They're family friendly. I use them on my kids. Um, I have cats and um, I've been doing research with that too. And so far we have not had any issues with that. Um, so yeah, really, this is it's really a great time. And I just love that like, um, I have cut back on a lot of our over-the-counter medicine use because of eating things we eat um, and also um, you know just having my oils helps me to when I have a headache I go to peppermint when instead of um, Tylenol right away because it Tylenol ibuprofen has those bad side effects right so um, so yeah just I would love to talk to you more if you want more information just PM me and um, that is the end of my little class tonight. Thank you again for joining me. Um, if you are watching this again, click replay. Um, and just let me know what you guys think, if you guys learned anything, all that stuff. So, all right, I hope you guys have a wonderful night. And we'll talk to you soon. See you later.